New Leaf Organics in Moncton is typical of a Vermont hill farm. There's not much flat ground. It's all super hilly and really hard to access. The old dairy barn at the bottom of the hill is part of an agricultural past that owner Jill Capel sees as the centerpiece of her farm's future. The health of the barn was really important to me because it's one of our biggest assets on this property. Capel grows certified organic vegetables, small fruits, and cut flowers on five acres. She sells her produce through farmer's markets, co-ops, and an on-farm CSA. The flowers are used for wedding and event planning. For years, she had used a porch alongside the barn or on the top floor for washing and packing. This setup was more about making do and never intended to be permanent. We kind of reached that point where we were just ready for an upgrade as far as our wash pack went. I just was kind of done using what we had had for a long time and we had this unused space down below our barn and I was visiting another farm and saw what they had been working on at their place and I was getting all excited about what the potential was here. So rather than me having to learn all of that stuff, I knew what I wanted the result to be but I didn't want to spend a ton of time thinking about the logistics and the mechanics of it all. I wanted to just have somebody who knew what they were doing come look at my space, help me figure out the flow and what might work the best. Enter University of Vermont Extension. So it looks a lot different than it did last winter. Andy Chamberlain works as a technician for Extension's agricultural engineering. This barn renovation is one of his recent projects. My first reaction when walking into the space was like, yeah, it's an old dairy barn like you'd expect to see on, on many farms. You know, it was dirty with flaky paint and cobwebs and things like that. So um, it's definitely come a long ways and you have to put on some the right glasses in order to, to say, okay, I see this existing space now. How do I clean it up and make it really usable for today's needs? There was nothing unsafe or unsanitary about how Capel was washing and storing crops before the renovation, but it wasn't ideal either. I'd say it's pretty typical, yeah, and uh, there's not, not anything wrong with it. Uh, as long as you keep your tubs clean and, and it's organized and your crew doesn't mind working outside. Uh, what can be wrong with it is that you're working on uneven surfaces and um, oftentimes you're standing in wet locations because you're hosing things off so you're tracking mud around while you're trying to keep both your tubs and your, your vegetables clean. Capel's old wash pack facility was also bumping up against the guidelines set by the FDA's Food Safety Modernization Act or FSMA. The law sets standards for food safety that aim to prevent foodborne illness rather than reacting after an outbreak occurs. So it's part of being what I would call a sustainable farm now. Um, and Hans Estrin is the produce safety specialist with UVM Extension. He coordinates CAPS, short for Community Accreditation for Produce Safety. It's a voluntary program offered by the Vermont Vegetable and Berry Growers Association in collaboration with Extension. CAPS help small and medium-scale farmers adopt best practices that comply with FSMA. So the Community Accreditation for Produce Safety, this whole concept came out of this practical approach to produce safety. Growers come to a situation, they have a market, they are running their, their farm, and our premise is that they're in the best position to put on risk management glasses, look at their operation, see where the red flags, and figure out a way to reduce them. We align those with FSMA, the standards of FSMA. They are just lined right up um, in, the, in the categories and the standards. Working with educators and peers to be in compliance with state and federal regulations is one thing. Paying to upgrade a facility is another. The cost of Capel's project was $90,000. To help offset that amount, she received a $5,000 Vermont Produce Safety Improvement Grant from the Vermont Agency of Agriculture, Food and Markets. The Vermont Produce Safety Improvement Grant Program was designed to help produce growers make on-farm produce safety improvements and to help them transition to compliance with the produce safety rule or meet market demands for food safety. Um, so it's kind of all those facets together is what kind of brought that program to its start. Um, and to date we've had three rounds of funding and have funded 29 Vermont farms. So we hope to keep it going. Capel and her crew have been working in this space for a few months. Even in that short time, she's already seen more potential for this new old space. It's just made such an improvement as far as our work setup goes and just the comfort level 
and just having space where we're not on top of each other or you know multiple people can work in the same zone at the same time everything's movable nothing's fixed to the wall except for the sink so that we can grow and shrink i can see the potential for us to just keep tweaking and seeing what works for us and what doesn't this project at new leaf organics shows what can happen when educators state officials and farmers work together typical for a hill farm or any farm in Vermont. In Moncton, I'm Keith Silva with Across the Fence.